In fact, last night we saw a fucking documentary called Athlete A. Mm. It's good. Oh it's about Larry um, Nasser from oh, USA pe- Gymnastics and how oh he, uh, God. Yep. he basically uh, finger banged all those uh, oh. little girls. I shouldn't say it like that. Yeah, he why was sexually that's assaulted. That's what he did. Yeah, but that's yeah. what he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it's like this girl. Uh, y- did you see a documentary? Not yet. I'm not you know, the, the, the Olympic Gymnastics Association had a doctor mm-hmm. named Larry Nasser. Mm-hmm. And he um, was number one. You find out in the document he didn't even get paid. No, he's a fucking singlet chaser, dude. Guy's he a, is right, a, singlet a singlet chaser, chaser right? Mm-hmm. And, POF, um, baby. Guy's a POF, you know how difficult dude. you know the coaches there are so kind of mean. You know they're easy. Mm-hmm. The well, yeah, like uh, Marta. They're Russian, and, baby. They're Russian. Yeah, they're the, yeah, Poland, the Carolis. Yeah, the Carolis. They're oh. like they were Nadia Comaneci's coaches, so they were just really mm-hmm. celebrated tough right tough. coaches they'll stretch you out yeah yeah, they, yeah, yeah. and then it, so you you have all this negativity and stress right mm-hmm. and emotional and, and physical it, abuse and ponytails had, and then they had this guy this doctor who would give these kids on the side candy and he was nice to which them it's a huge you know red flag yeah right and then like you know do leg massage and then all of a sudden just jam you know, yeah, and how he tried to grizzly. defend it too. He was like, "Oh yeah, this is just you know coccyx manipulation." Right, is that what he said? Yeah, yeah he oh. would do things like he would talk about like the 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 pubic symphysis, what? like things in a really medical. He would use a lot of medical jargon to defend what he was doing to these mm-hmm. um, girls. And these yes. poor girls, you know, what I mean, they, they children, feel, baby, they're children, yeah. they're children, but then they go out there and they compete, and some of them become, you know. Olympic gold gymnasts, mm-hmm. right? Legends. Mm-hmm. Legends. legends of, the legends of our time, right? But you, it goes to show you that maybe, you know, f- f- there, were, there was a thinking, and I, I, I might have to cut this out, but um, there was a thinking that we, we had a discussion, not the molestation, but the strict training. In my head, I was like, does the strict training, right, equate to Olympic gold? But Kalala was like, you can still be nice, Right. And still have love and still create champions. And I'm tending now to believe that. Well, I my theory is that while discipline, hard work, very regimented, old school Soviet practices might work, Mm -hmm. you just don't have a longevity there because there's only so much emotional abuse and physical abuse and so much of your body that you can run down. So it's like I always say these girls in the 90s, most athletes, including myself, we peak when we're 18. Yeah. We're done. Our bodies are already broken. We've had every single injury there is to have. Well, now they're being a little bit more, you know, forgiving. They're being a lot more loving and supportive. And no, these you have Dara Torres, who was a swimmer in her 35, still competing in the Olympics. And that was unheard of before. Yeah. Imagine if comedy was like that. It would take the fun out of it. You know what I mean? If I fucking had a bad joke, I get and a Polish person hit me with a ruler. Oh, that was a bad joke. Pop! <laughs> right. You get good fast. I bet, though. Right. Yeah. You get good. But, but we all do that to ourselves. I think that Polish person just inside of you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. I know. You, know? you do it is. to ourselves. Yeah. You know hey, what? guys, we're going to take a quick break to share one of our favorite sponsors with you. Blue Apron. It's the tastiest food that you'll ever have. Mm. You guys, I'm telling you right now, without Blue Apron, I would have died in quarantine. We've had so many delicious meals from Blue Apron. It delivers right to your door. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it's you know, guys, it's like restaurant quality food. And it's food a couple of times. Even the Slep King, Papa, made it Mm. by following the orders. I don't chop. 